Hi, and welcome back to Stain Canvas. So today I'm going to show you how I do a very quick and easy textured uh, things on my mixed media works. So they are literally toilet paper roll or paper towel roll with texture things on it. So I found these um, from Dollar Tree. So they were buck fifty each. One is a mat that you put on the bottom of a counter or a cabinet like to put your dishes on top of. And the other one is just a placemat. I'm sure you can find similar things to you at, at your, you know, discount dollar store or whatever. Um, and so all you need is some glue, some scissors, kitchen roll or paper, uh, like toilet paper roll and something textured like what I have here. So I don't measure very well. I don't measure stuff so much. So um, I'm just gonna like roll it. And then I'm going to cut it and then I'll trim to fit, right? So I'd rather have more than less anyways, because you can always cut bits off, but you can't, it, it's more difficult to add bits. And I don't really want to waste a lot of this because I feel like I could, you know, use this with clay, use this, the extra stuff with clay and the extra, you know, all that kind of thing. Like, I don't think I would use these rollers with clay, but they are wonderful in paint. So um, I'm just measuring my way of measuring and uh, I'm just gonna cut off the little tiny bit that overlaps. I don't really like overlap for these kind of rollers because it does make a bump, like a, vis a visible uh, mark on the paper with whatever ink or paint you're using. Um, so I'm just gonna trim it and the glue I use is the Fabri-Tac, like it's literally for fabric. And I like it because for one, it's flexible. And so when it dries, it's movable because it's made for fabric. It's made to like it not be stiff, right? And then also it's waterproof. So I was like, yes, because you know, paint is a wet media and I don't want my glue getting all loosey goosey and things like that. So, you know, waterproof, perfect holds tight too. Like it holds so good. So good. Um, so yeah, that's my, my rave for fabric glue. <laughs> it's like, it's the best stuff to use for a lot of the things like I make. I mean, obviously you can buy texture rollers. Like you can buy these from like, um, what's that stamping company? Um, Stampin' Up or whatever it's called. Right. But I am an artist and I don't have extra money for that. And I mean, if you do, you are so lucky, but I don't. <laughs> so this is how I get around that, right? Find discount things, find ways to create it on my own. And uh, so for this one, I was really trying to find a leaf pattern. Like I could just cut it all willy nilly if I wanted to, but I literally wanted to find a good, like long, like a leaf, right? Um, and I find one right here. And then I do my, my fancy dancy measuring again. I literally just take the empty spot from that <laughs> other one I did and I just cut along there. Um, and this one is a little stiffer. So you'll see in a moment here when I'm trying to glue it and trim it down, it's a lot thicker plastic. So it kind of needs some wrangling a little bit. But here me, here's me just cutting it out. And then I have that nice long leaf piece right there or feather or whatever that is. Uh, but you see here, it does quite a bit overlap. And then I'm figuring out, do I want the cut edge to be the edge or do I want the really nice finished edge to be on the edge? I, I end up picking the finished edge because I think, you know, I'm like, well, that'll make, you know, really nice. Like it's not going to line up. It's not a lined up thing. Uh, and then I just glue and then I'm like, oh, I have to cut. So this part takes me a little bit. So I kind of just, you know, transitioned a little bit. Um, I do a lot of each of those little tiny sticky uppy things has to get trimmed a little more and a little more. And uh, but I do finally end up succeeding in getting it done. Um, and also like those are different lengths because the bumps are different lengths. So uh, here's me finally have it trimmed enough that I can 
lay down that piece and it kind of it, it works perfectly like I really do like how this one turned out because the nice edge that I saved pretty much like okay well there it is right and I get the full leaf or the full feather or whatever this thing is in the in the roll so I really do like how uh, how this one turned out and then once I have it glued, you got to let it dry um, for a good amount because we don't want to add water or paint or whatever to it and then have it pop off halfway through. So once we know it's dried really, really well, we'll be good to go. Stick it on an old paint roller and you'll see my paint roller coming up. It's just, you know from the dollar store again um, and it was actually too loose so I just put paper towel all around it and tape and uh, then it just fits perfectly on there so there it is this is my previous one that I've used many many times before and I'm just going to show how easy it makes things go like I can cover a huge huge amount of white paper just by rolling just like this it's super easy to do and you could use this paper to cut out. You could use it as a base. Like I could use acrylic paint with this and then do my wonderful marks on top, right? Um, and yeah, so here we're gonna go on and move on to the ones that I just made and they are nice and dry now, so they're good to go. Easy to come on and off. I actually like this one. It really reminds me of like the inside of an envelope, you know, the privacy envelopes. I really like using that darker paper because it makes such a darker color, right? So it's a different value. I really like being able to cut out paper or or use these darker tones and dark, darker values. So you can still see the paper roll joints and stuff, but I mean, that's fine. If you're cutting it out, it's not going to matter so much. Like the paper you've just painted and then this is the one that I was a little worried about because of the joints but I it turned out really nice because I did get that whole flower or the whole I don't know it's a feather or or leaf pattern but, but there we go so it looks not too bad you could see where the connection there but all in all I like it and, it, and it's gonna work pretty well for me so um there it is looks pretty neat also I've done all the other ones that I have so I have like little you know dots and things and, and all those and these are just a simple quick way to get some really fast texture down on uh, any kind of mixed media stuff that you do so thank you for watching I will see you guys next time on the stained canvas and be sure to like share subscribe and tell your friends about me